Welcome back, everybody. We turn our attention now to the controversial Circle of Hope Girls Ranch. That is the religious boarding school that was shut down in August of 2020 amid widespread abuse accusations launched at founders Boyd and Stephanie Householder. Well, now the householders, they are behind bars, and survivors, they are breaking their silence. From a very young age, I was speaking. I was trying to get out. Amanda Householder is Boyd and Stephanie's youngest daughter, but family ties couldn't save the young girl from her parents. Amanda was enrolled in Circle of Hope Girls Ranch, where she claims she was mistreated like any other student. My dad opened up Circle of Hope for his own sick perversions. In 2006, the religious boarding school marketed itself as a safe haven for troubled teens, a place where girls who broke the law, like Carrie Reeves, could reform through Christian teaching. Instead, the then 14-year-old found herself in what she called a hopeless situation. Your dad automatically was just like, if you don't stop, I'm gonna restrain you. He was like, if you think I'm afraid to do it in front of your family, guess again. Amanda says when the girls heard restraint, they had to kneel on their classmates' pressure points until they started screaming. You could be restrained in chicken poop, horse manure, gravel, it didn't matter. She recalls her dad once told her, if you do not put as much weight on her and if she's not screaming loud enough, you are next. 16 victims have come forward with allegations of abuse against the householders. Punishments at the ranch allegedly included whipping with belts, taping mouths shut, and shoveling manure for hours. But perhaps even more tragic, the women say the abuse was not just physical. Of the 79 felony charges Boyd Householder faces, 22 counts are for sexual contact with a girl younger than 17 years old, and that includes six counts of second degree statutory rape. We had to sit there and endure the girls screaming and crying. He wouldn't allow anyone to watch what was going on. Yeah, he knew what he was doing was wrong. He made sure that no one could witness what he was doing. But at least one other adult did witness some of Boyd's alleged wrongdoings, his wife, Stephanie. In this video, she sits idly by as Boyd encourages his young female students to beat each other unconscious. Knock her out. Yes, sir. I mean it. Knock her out. Yes, sir. So how did Circle of Hope's 14 years of alleged abuse go unnoticed for so long? The ranch was registered as a faith-based boarding school, making it exempt from any state regulations in Missouri. He would make us learn an entire chapter and recite it before a meal, and if we didn't memorize it within a certain amount of time, we wouldn't be allowed to eat. Former Circle of Hope student Allie Wedge remembers Householder using religious teachings as fuel for punishments. I've probably read the Bible a thousand times. Every day for the past five years, I was reading the obituaries in Missouri, just hoping that he was dead so I knew it was done. Now, 71-year-old Boyd Householder is locked up at Vernon County Jail. Stephanie Householder was also arrested and charged with 22 counts of her own, most involving neglect or abuse of a child. I fully believe that they do deserve to be behind bars. I hope now that they are held accountable. The Missouri Attorney General is urging any and all with information about the Circle of Hope Girls Ranch to call them. That number, 573-751-0309.